Okay. We ready? Yes. Yeah. Everyone ready? And we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this euphoric night. I am your host, Limon. Joining me tonight, we have Sandia. What up? We have El Coco. El Coco! We have Mango. <laughs> Hola. And we have La Uva. 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 Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, just a heads up, uh, I hop back on creatine, so if I get up a lot to pee, <laughs> um, it's because of it. And if I look absolutely jacked right now, it's also because of it, because I feel huge, and I feel like if me and Devin arm wrestled right now, I'd probably beat him. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> would you? Would you let me win? For how much? Because well, like you know you're like like you know you like you know you're gonna be, beat For me, right? How much? Like you know you're gonna beat me. So would you like let me win if I asked you? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> oh. Really? Would you let me win if I asked you? Like if you knew if you knew you could beat me, no. and I was like I was like bro like there's hella people here or like the camera's on bro like can I beat oh. you? Are you trying to impress somebody? I would. I would. Yeah. 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 The camera's on. Let's say the camera's rolling. Yeah. And I was like I was like hey yo, bro can you, can you, like can you let me win? Would you like let me? Yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. only ones that know that he like asked though is like you guys. Yeah, like only us two would know. Like you can't, I, you no, can't I really tell anybody, anybody else. No. You wouldn't tell anybody else. Mm. Oh, see, that's a real one. What about you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they might because be then if they like start bashing on me, like I let him win. Yeah, yeah, yeah what yeah. if they start bashing on you, bro? They're like, oh, you, like, you, yeah, weak. Really, you got the best of me, man. Like, what mm. I say? Mm. I think if I like, I if know, I man. think if I was stronger than everyone and you guys asked for me to let you win, I don't think I'd let you win. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I might take back my answer then. Nick, did you hear me? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I know who you're trying to impress. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on, guys. Um, oh, hold on. To Ooh. start the night off, I actually have a question for the ladies. Okay? okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, also, guys, tell, hey, comment down below if you, guys if you guys like all of our makeup and stuff like that. And Done by Mongo E. Did you even say Sandia. the theme? Yeah. It's euphoric. It's the euphoric night. Euphoria. Tonight we are. <laughs> tonight we have <laughs> Dominic Fike. No, we okay. have that's Fez. No, that's Fez. No, that's Fez. I'm not seventy show. These guys are so you're good. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is this one. All I know is Cynthia's the crackhead. <laughs> Dude, ugh. you guys need to watch it. She's a pretty crackhead though. So it's okay. I've seen two episodes, <laughs> and I was not impressed because. There are a lot of penises. There was a lot of penises. Five minutes in. That's only oh, like really? the first episode, though. I didn't get past the first Wait. episode. Penis, penis. Wait, were we? Were we the ones having the conversation with Madhu or Cynthia where they were like, "Oh, they're just fake penises, so it's okay." Yeah. Oh it, yeah, right. Like, it's still a penis. It's still a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I literally want it's this, okay. Bro. You guys look at a penis <laughs> you know, every day. But it's my penis. But it's my penis. penis. <laughs> mm. She has a point, though. But I do be looking at penises on. Not like that though. <laughs> not like that though. <laughs> Yo, that's something weird. Did you start calling for good? I like no, no. I like guy girl. Leave it. I in. like guy. No, bro. No, don't leave no, that. Shit was spicy out. That sounded horrible. <laughs> How many hot Cheetos you eat? I was like eight. Wow. Anyways. Anywho. Let's go ahead and get right into the first question of the night to the ladies. Mm-hmm. If your man's was going to the strip club with his friends and he invited you to go, would you go? Yeah. You'd go too? Without yeah. like without a doubt in your mind, you would be down to go. Yeah. Yeah. That would be Wait, lit. Why why not? What if it was without you guys? Hmm? What if it was without you? Mm. Hell mm. But like see, that's a different question. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, what? take take this for example, right? Let's say let's switch let's switch roles. Let's say your girlfriend wants to go to like a a men's strip club. Like a gay bar? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then she was like, do you want to go? I think I might go. I think I might, I think I might go. I, I would be down, go. bro. I heard that they're really fucking fun. That would be lit. I, I also heard they're really fucking yeah, fun. Yeah. I'd be pretty down to at least yeah. check it out. Is that like, is that why you would also want to go? Because you're like, I kind of want to check it out. Like, see what Wait, it's like. are you asking like... Damn, she munched. Yeah, he really munched. Fat Cheeto. Yeah. Are you asking like... Would we want to <laughs> swallow? <laughs> the are you asking? You heard that list, right? Go ahead. Are you asking like are we asking if we want to go or like are if they ask would we They're go? asking you like hey I'm uh, my yeah. friends want to go to the strip club would you like and they're like they're saying like I kind of want to go would you be down to come with me 
or like how? I don't understand why I wouldn't want to go. Wait, what do you why mean? is it different if you were to go with the, without you guys? What? That's a different question. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you say it was their birthday? Yeah. You said it was the birthday. No, right? no, no, no. The original question oh. was just like, would you want to go to a strip club with your man's if bad. he invited you? I think you asked that one already. No, no I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get to that one. But like, you guys, <laughs> sorry, you guys sorry. would want to go. With, you guys would want to at least like see what it's like, right? Yeah, I feel like it would be lit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would like get a lap dance from a girly. Girly girl. Oh, yeah. You'd actually get a lap dance from a girl? I got a lap dance at <laughs> Don't drop the name. Don't drop the Remember name. Remember that though? The video you I got know. demonetized for? Yeah. Remember when you were like in like <laughs> no <laughs> and the girl was out of way too much bro. She's like I was like, damn. I forgot guys, Cynthia actually has gotten a lap dance. From and Lula or Lulu. Lulu. From Lulu. Lulu. Mm. What was your side question, my boy? Oh. So like say you went to a strip club with him. <laughs> would, like, would you I don't know how to say it. Like, what? Would I like let him like get a lap dance or yeah. whatever? Yeah, like, would, would you? you be pissed no. if that happened? You wouldn't. Like, you just saw him go to the back room, like, out of nowhere. Ooh, <laughs> wait, the back room and a lap dance is different. No? Yeah, I'd be oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure, bro. I've never been to one I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd get pissed, period, if he got a lap dance while I was there. What if you, would you pay for one? Why wouldn't you give him Actually, a lap dance? Wait, fuck, I don't know. What the fuck? Because <laughs> right? I'm not a right? stripper. Are you wrong? Or you wouldn't want to give your manager a little dance? Uh, oh. It's like, <laughs> like a club, right? Here, like, yeah, I'll, yeah, throw, yeah. I'll throw different circumstances, but like, okay, take for, okay, let's move let's move to the next circumstance. Okay. What if it was his friend's birthday? Best friends. Best friend's birthday, and they wanted bachelor to go. Party? Yeah. Not even a bachelor party. Just a, his birthday. Yes, yeah. And he wanted to go to a strip club and all the guys were gonna go. Damn. And like he wanted to go. Let's say let's say you weren't even free that night. Like you're not free that night. Like you have plans. <laughs> you have plans. And he's Damn. like he's like yo, it's my be- it's my best friend's birthday. Like I'm a, I'm gonna go. Like yeah. you'd be chill with it. What if you found out that he got a lap dance? Like if I had to find out about it, I'd be like. What if he told you? No, he told you like oh. later on. He was like, yeah, I got a lap dance. Um, they paid for it. Oh, I don't know. Like, I, I want to say, like, whatever. But, like, I think in the moment, if that did happen, I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck? What if, what if he invited you to the strip club, you said yes, and then mm. you guys met up there and he was getting a lap dance? Mm, that is is that way okay, different? Yo, I, I think into. I might throw hands with him. It might and be then hands, what yeah. What if he hits yeah. you with the, babe, I can explain, though. Babe. <laughs> like, he's not touching her or anything. He's just like, Wee. No, no it doesn't matter. Bad. I'm throwing hands with him. If he's getting yeah, a lap dance and we're dating, dude, no, it doesn't matter if he's at a script strip club or not. Yeah. That's like cheating. <laughs> like, like he can I go know. for his friend's birthday party. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yes. chill. Okay. Mm. I don't mm-hmm. think I would get a lap dance if I had a girl, though. I don't think so. No. No, no way. No. Right? Like, no way. Right? Wait, hold up. Would you, you don't think you wouldn't be cool with your man's going to a strip club without you? If it was like, a friend's birthday. Best dude, friend's birthday. Best friend's birthday, dude. You can't trust these men. Like, they will what if lie. It was me like, though? even me if. Meet them, meet them, meet them. Like, if it was Devin's birthday party, and, like, let's say, yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and, like, I was, I was like, dating oh, Nick or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, can I pay for Nick's lap dance? <laughs> like, I ask you. Yeah. Like, you're, like she's there with me? Like, she's like, there yeah, with like, me? You guys pull up. I'm like, Madu, Madu, can I pay for Nick's lap dance? Like, like, Wait, you but know? you should be the one getting the lap dance that. Yeah, why is Nick getting If it's your birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthday? Is oh, this I'm scenario? so lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, so it's sorry, Sage's sorry. birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. Okay. It's Sage's birthday. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. We'll do and that. we're all at a strip yeah, club. Yeah. Okay. And Madu's with me. Mm-hmm. And then Sage is like, oh, dude, you have to get a lap dance with me, Nick. Like, that'd be legendary. For my birthday. Yeah, bro. Like, it's my birthday. And then what he looks over at you. He looks over at you. He's like, oh, Madu, you got to let him get a lap dance. Like, it's my birthday. I don't think you'd say no, but I feel like you'd be pissed. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't think if I think if Sage asked you or like like Devin asked you, I don't think you could say no to them. Dude, I think if everybody put me on the spot and everybody was like, exactly. "Come on, like, come on," just let yeah, him, I'd be like, "Fuck it, fine." But I might be <laughs> I might be mad for the you rest might hit of the me night. with the you might hit me with the do what you want. Yeah, do whatever. Be you like, want. Yeah, do what you want. I no, I'd probably like look at you and I'd be like I'd be like you know what it's up to you. What do you want to do? It's like okay, Damn. yeah. <laughs> what if like without hesitation? Without hesitation, I'm just like okay, bet. So let's and go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. I probably leave. Bye. Wait, bye. Let's just no, that's picture. worse than saying no, though. Babe, I can explain. Like she says, you can do what you want. That's fine. That's way like, worse than saying that no. That is worse. I don't want to be a lap dance anyway. I'd be like, ah, oh, <laughs> dude, I got to go home. I feel like even if my significant other paid for my lap dance, I would still feel really uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. I would feel no, very sure. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if they're there. Yeah. Hell no. But if they're yeah, like, exactly. oh, look at one on me. I'm like, 
<laughs> yeah. I literally picture you getting like a lap dance and you're like your boyfriend or like your girlfriend is sitting right there. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't want to do that. That'd be really awkward. <laughs> like, so how's, how's the work school? going? <laughs> yeah, so shit like that. <laughs> My eyes would be going everywhere. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'm not looking at you. Your girlfriend, like, yeah, yeah, I'd be like, I'd be looking at my girlfriend, like, <laughs> I'm trying, like, I'm trying. Yeah, nah, I don't, yeah. I don't know about that I'm one. Trying. Yeah, like, I'm trying my hardest. Next question, um, do you guys think it's a red flag if you can't drink with your partner? Absolutely. Mm, well, didn't we talk about this? Nah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. we did it. Okay, I meant like not in a podcast but um I I, maybe outside of a podcast yeah, well, but like do you guys think it's a red flag if you can't drink with your partner like there's always like an issue always comes up like either they like you guys are either fighting when they're you guys whenever you guys drink or just something bad happens every time you guys drink do you think it's a red flag oh uh, wait are they meant like if your partner can't drink no no no, not oh, that oh, like oh. like there's always like an issue whenever you guys drink together I just can't handle themselves. Yeah, like you guys are always like something gets brought up and y'all start arguing every single time you guys drink together. I mean, yeah, that's not good. That's horrible. Red flag. Yeah, red yeah. flag. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Y'all are not meant for each other. Have you heard the term "the real you comes out when you're drunk"? That's Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Drunk words are sober yeah. thoughts. Ex say it again. Yeah. Yes. Say it louder for the people in the back. <clears throat> drunk words are sober thoughts. Can I? I don't know if you should put this in, but can I talk about something? Go ahead. Please okay. elaborate. So. <laughs> Fuck. Hang on, what it is? Okay, <laughs> well, let's say. Okay, well, there was this one time. Damn, I'm really putting my freaking personal ass life out here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Well, there was this one time, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I ha I threw a little something in my house, right? And then I had a boyfriend at that time, right? And then, like my my friend, my she's like my ex friend, right? She was like doing such shit Ooh, with my boyfriend at the time, okay. right? And then the next day, her excuse was, but you know, I was just really, really drunk. No. And I was like, hmm, no. Because I think like, no matter how drunk you are, it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like what you do when you're drunk, it's like, sober thoughts are your, what was it? What, what did we say? was it? Drunk words are sober thoughts. Yeah, drunk words are sober thoughts and like drunk actions, I think. Is like what you would do, like, fuck. What am I trying? Like, I can't no, say I, it. Like, it's, yeah. it's the same thing. As it goes for words, it goes for action. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, it's like when you're drunk, you do the things that you that you would like, do sober <laughs> just to yourself, but you have like self control yes. when you're sober. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, exactly, thank you, exactly. thank you. I don't okay. know why. What I if they're blacked out drunk? Blacked out drunk is because I there was one night where I woke up and now I didn't know how I got there. I don't know how I got. That's usually when I take care of you, man. Yeah, see, exactly. But that's different. Yeah, see, that's the thing. But that's what I'm saying. What if they were fucking blast and they don't remember? That's a question, thing. though. Like, do you guys think like blacking out is like a good I excuse like for doing out, fucked up shit? If you're blacked out, like you can easily be persuaded or taken advantage of. Other than oh, being drunk, sure. yeah, you yeah. still have self control. But mm. blacked out, I mean, that's still you're on you. Like, you. You got yourself you blacked have out. No vision. Yes. And, like, you got yourself blacked out. But no I feel like you can easily be taken advantage of and just be like, what the mm. fuck happened? You know yeah. what I mean? And you wouldn't even but know the same next time, morning. Like, you wouldn't even know. You got yourself in that situation mm. to start with. Yeah. I have a so. question though. So like, do you guys think it's like, when you do like fucked up shit to other people, when you're blacked out, do you think that's a good excuse? Like I was blacked out. Like I didn't know what the fuck. Nah, I nah just don't get blacked nah. out. Nah. No, no, no. Yeah. It's like, I think that no matter what happens when you're drunk, the next day, just own up to your actions. Yeah, you sure. shouldn't. You shouldn't be don't like. Use that as an excuse. You should not use being drunk as an excuse. But maybe I'm alone on this. But I don't think drunk thoughts or sober actions. Because mm -hmm. I've had times when like I've been like mm -hmm. pretty lit at a party. Yeah. And I've said like a couple, not like in an <laughs> arguing way. <laughs> yeah. But like I've said some things to people that I really did not mean. Like there are times when I don't oh. know if this comes into play, but there are times when people have come up to me. And we talked about it before, where they're like, "Oh, dude, like I'm sorry about some shit that happened in the past, this and that." And I just want to be left alone. And I'm lit. I just want to have a good time. So I'm like, oh, yeah, dude. I love you too, bro. Blah, blah, blah. I fucking see them sober. I'm not going to touch them. You got what I mean? Yeah, Like, yeah. I'm not going to tie to them. I do see those things too. You got what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I don't think, like, I get, I do get why people say that drunk words are sober thoughts. But I think that anyone who has self-control, period, yeah, it doesn't apply to because some people get drunk so that they can bring up problems because it's mm. easier for them to bring up problems. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice one, buddy. Um, well, I'm spicy now, right? <laughs> you get what I mean? Like some people, I know some people that just get drunk to start a problem or something like that because they just want to use it as an excuse mm -hmm. or it's easier for them to bring something up when they're drunk. Yeah. yeah. So like, for example, the one girl homie that did what she did, she's probably like 
probably wanted to get, drunk, to get drunk around this person yeah, because yeah. she could use it as an excuse. Okay, plus yeah. she's lit. Like okay, if you okay. if you threw that party the same way and you had no alcohol, nothing would have happened. But the fact that but I like, feel like, go ahead. I don't know what's gonna be in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> what I was gonna say is like I felt like some some people just use being drunk as an excuse to say stuff that they have they yeah, want yeah. to say. Yeah. You know what same. I mean? Because if you really, I I get you know what you're what saying. Mean? Yeah, you get what I mean? Sure. That's yeah. why I don't really think drunk thoughts. Because they would never say it like to you, like one on one sober. You know exactly. I mean? like, but like, like the courage. fact that if you're yeah like, with courage. Yeah. But if you're drunk at a party, it's so much easier to just let go. Exactly. Yeah, That's sure. what it is. Because the next day you can always be like, bro, I was just was drunk. drunk. You have yeah, an excuse. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That makes sense. That's what I'm talking about. So um, unless you guys have stuff to add on, like to the original question, like you guys all think that if you can't drink with your partner, like it's a red flag, like that. Would that be we drink worth too much for that not to be a red flag? You think? Yeah. Like you think that's worthy to break up with someone over? Oh. Mm, just don't get drunk together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Probably not. Do you think that's fair though? Like the fact that you can't even you can't like yeah, you can't like, drink. Oh, but I want to drink though. Like it's so fun when I'm around here. But then like they don't really see the bad part about it. Mm. I think like for the most part, I'm like pretty like chill when I drink. Like I don't get like aggressive or anything. So like if I do have problems with a guy. I'd see it like him getting like aggressive no. mm-hmm. because but I don't have that problem with other people when I drink. Exactly, but I feel like if you're lit and your boyfriend or whatever wants to start a problem with you, you're probably gonna be pretty aggressive back to him. Yeah. When, especially when you're lit, right? Yeah. And that's where the problem comes in. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so then it starts going back and forth. So my question so I'm is- I'm saying like, I don't think I'd be ever the one to initiate it because no. I don't get like really No, aggressive. no, that's totally fine. But like. When I'm saying like a red flag when you can't drink with your partner, let's say it just goes one way. Like it's always the partner getting mad about something and you could easily just be like, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, blah, 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 right? Like yeah. you're lit, whatever. He's like, you can blow okay, it true. off. You know what I mean? I don't think you'd ever blow it off though. No, because why are you getting mad at me exactly. every single time you drink? Exactly. Yeah. So is Handle that worth shit. Is that worth breaking up yeah. with someone over? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're pretty old enough to the point where we can't bring yeah. up because of that. Yeah. For sure. What do you think, Manu? Um... Hmm. No, I don't think it's worth breaking up over. Really? Yes. You just would just not drink with them ever again. Yeah. Or actually, I don't know. Because <laughs> I said it's it was tough. a red flag, right? Yeah. yeah. It it is a red flag. I feel like if if you guys can't be drunk together, because I feel like when you're drunk, it brings up like the issues you have like low key like inside. Internally, yeah. Yeah. So like it like all comes out when you're drunk. You know. Yeah, like, I'm not saying I would break up with them because we can't drink together. Yeah. Like, it's the fact that, like, you're cheering your show. You're you're showing your true colors. <laughs> you're true. Holy <laughs> shit. You're covering your toe. <laughs> Facts. Holy shit. Facts. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. You're, you're showing, showing your true colors. Yeah, when you're drunk. So, like. I'm stoned, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when you're lit. Yeah, so, like, if I'm noticing that every single time he's lit, he's, like, trying to... S- Bringing up something or like what, being weird. What if it's like nothing like that though? What if they just like really just can't handle themselves? Oh, that's different. That's like, like that's that's like sloppy different. then. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. sloppy. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Like, Boop. Come, come with it. Come with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking of bringing up problems. I was thinking of more just like just can't, handle. can't handle. Is that, that a red flag? Like, I, I thought yeah, at I first. So. Nick, Nick was saying something else. Like I don't know. Like. You can build we're that at the age though. where, yeah, you could. Um, you tolerance could. is one thing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you're at the age where it's like you should be able to handle yourself. Yeah. Like getting blacked out Bro, once in a while, it's like not a yeah. Red flag if they can't handle their alcohol, like they just no, don't but not no, even no, that. Like they, they like <laughs> they choose to get that they messed up every yeah, single yeah, yeah, time. That's different. That's uh, different. Like you know, you see the like you've probably seen people. Yeah. Wait, I can't, I'm not gonna say names. You don't need to say any names, okay. no. but we get so, what you mean. Like I'm their mom every single time we go out. Go out. Yes. Like you're always taking care of them. They're always like fucking eyes rolling back like you have to go home because of them early oh, that'd be that annoying. and see that's where i feel like it would be a red flag to the point where i'd want to break up with them because then it's like i can't even go out with you when yes. i'm and i can't even go out with you around my friends because my friends drink alcohol there's gonna be alcohol there and i know you, you can't just have three up. shots mm-hmm. you need to have like 20 i'm looking at you Madu. uh you, can, <laughs> you need to have like 20 you like it's like it's like what's your problem like <laughs> what like, why, why can't you stop you know yeah. you know what i mean I feel that she just likes yeah. to have fun though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like she just thinks of, like, oh, like we're out here, wee, like all yes. that stuff. And then like and she just it hits her at one point. She's like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> 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 and 
<laughs> Another thing is, I don't expect you guys to help me. I'm really ha- like. No, no. We, do, we do though. We do though. We yes. have to. We have to. Help and I appreciate y'all. I'm like for the that. fucking water boy in this group, bro. And <laughs> yeah. now, now, yeah. I just think I keep. I, I won't bring it. I'll bring it up later. <laughs> but um, I don't think that's where I'm saying I think it is worth it to break up with someone if they can't handle their alcohol because there are certain friend groups, and I will say that we are a friend group that does like. Yeah. We're not we don't have a problem with drinking, but like if we're celebrating, there's gonna be drinks around. Yeah, yes. sure. yeah like I mean, my birthday. <laughs> yeah, like your birthday, New Year's, you know, there's gonna be drinks around and I was There's no yeah, 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 there's no problem with there's not a problem with drinking. <laughs> there's not a problem with like getting lit. No. But there is a problem if every time you get lit it's that it's like that. you wanna get to a ten. Yeah. That's a problem. I I don't get that's why that's a different type of problem. Yeah, and I think that's I think meeting. that should be a red flag. Yeah. That's an AA meeting. <laughs> that's an AA meeting. We're taking you to an a- we're having an intervention. I'm telling you there's gonna be alcohol at a party. No. Yeah. It's an intervention. What you if trick him as green tea? <laughs> is it still a red flag if like the person's intention is not to get a ten, but they just accidentally do. That's there's there, how can you accidentally do that every time? Yeah, every single yeah. Time. Every time, I feel like yeah. at some point you gotta notice, yo, I keep blacking out. Yeah. Hmm. And like there's people that just want to have fun and to me like i don't like i don't like that if they're blacking out every time it's like yeah. you're not responsible to me it doesn't See, okay well look, look this modern, modern, modern situation is different though wait you don't black out every yeah, time you black out but she just gets like drunk yeah yes. just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she still handles yeah, 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 exactly. yeah i was just playing it was only like yeah, the two no, no, times no, no. it was yeah. only two times i was just playing i've never seen molly blacked out no i oh wait one time you were blacked out were you that's no. why I don't drink. Do you guys notice, like, when I go to functions, I don't be yeah. drinking? Yeah. That's why the times you drink. See, that's totally fine. But that's fine. because you know, though. That's because you, you know, know right? Yeah, I'm yeah. aware that I can't handle myself when I drink, so I kind of like. So you know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's, so, that's yeah. a green that's flag. Period. Okay. Flag. Yeah. Maybe yellow. I don't know. <laughs> and but the thing is, whenever you do drink, you always, like, whenever you start feeling like, guys, like. Yeah, yeah, you tell like, us. Yeah. I'm like, I need water. You know what I mean? You know you should. Tell me not to drink anymore. If you see me drinking, tell me stop. Okay, in my opinion, we can go around the table. I think it's. It's a red flag and probably like worth it to break up with someone who literally wants to get messed up every time they drink. Of course, that's not good. Yeah. Because I think it is. A, it goes back to the responsibility. Like you're not responsible. Yeah. I feel like that's Wait, what it is. But am I, am I dating them? Yeah. Bef- mm-hmm. Oh, like you don't know about it before? Like how into it? Is it you? you know? Well, uh, you're gonna ignore it like the whole talking stage. Like maybe, you, maybe you d- even decide not to go out with us as much because you know it's a problem. But like, look, even before the talking stage, like when I'm meeting a guy, like I'm meeting him in like social settings. So mm-hmm. yeah. if he's drinking and blacking out every single time I see him at a social yeah. setting, like I wouldn't even. What if he's no? But what, <clears throat> not if he's not in the group. Like I could like I could I could just meet you somewhere and I'm like, hey, let's go on a date, and you guys keep going on dates, blah blah, and then eventually you bring him around us when it starts to get serious. Okay. And okay. then that's when and you start you to notice it. It's a good scenario. Okay. And obviously he's not in the friend group, so he's not really going to be coming with us as mu- as often as you probably think. He's got his own friends. And then, you know, you guys start dating, then he starts coming around more often. And now it's a problem. Honestly, I don't think I would break up with him. I'd be like... like you have a problem. No, like, you need to know your limit. Like handle your shit and also like what if he's like you worry about you i'll worry about me and also like i feel like i couldn't drink when i first started hanging out with you guys but like i built up my tolerance so like just give him some time you only had one really bad night with us though yeah that's it you only had one really bad night oh. wait remember after the boat i came to your house when we went to patio you had oh, two okay. really bad nights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had, I two, really, you had two really bad nights. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Do you remember? The, it was funny. It was, it was funny. Really I didn't even know, though. See, the yeah. thing is, I didn't yeah. know until we walked outside. Yeah. And I was like. Because, okay, I feel like a lot of the time I'm like fucked up. But, like, I just, like, chill. I be vibing. I be vibing yeah, with yeah, Sage. Yeah, right? yeah for sure. <laughs> See, like, I get fucked up. Like, no, I don't think you guys know I'm no, fucked no. up. He's like, handing out money. I don't. Sage, yeah. can we Sage talk is about weird. this real quick? Can we talk about this real quick? Are we allowed Sage? to talk about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. When Sage is drunk <laughs> as fuck, it's the funniest thing ever. You be talking to him and Bro, you're like, is the chillest is anybody motherfucker? No, oh, dude, yeah. I don't even know. You, okay. It, it's because he goes from, I'm like, <laughs> go from I'm, I'm going from Sage. Super, but the thing Sage. is, I'm really, really drunk. Like, when you guys are talking to me, but I'm able to contain myself. And yeah. then if I go a little bit over that, that's when I get like, <laughs> yeah. Sage goes from like, like, hey guys, like, what's up? Like, and then he goes like, <laughs> that's a fact. Like, what the 
fuck you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Sage gets angry. You get like as soon as I say, as soon as we say, the only time I have seen Sage angry is when he doesn't get his Taco Bell. Taco Bell, bro. I'm just hungry, bro. Like it's every time. No, it's like it's like okay, it's like 12 a.m. Sage is like yeah, and then 2 a.m. Sage is like uh, and then 4 a.m. Sage is like. What the fuck are y'all yeah, doing? Like, I, I, I've, I've, realized, facts, I've, yeah. I've realized like every single person now, like what it is, how I know when you're like too lit. And with you, it's just whenever you just start listening to your music. But I do that even when I'm not even. Nah. No, no, he I does. Know. No, I do. I definitely do that when Bro, I'm. Bro, he always tells me he's gonna bring AirPods to like yeah. functions. Bro, I'm like, I, I, yeah. I have that mentality every time I go to a party. I'm gonna be listening to my own music. Every That's time. fine. Yeah, but what were you gonna say? I don't. know. Yeah, I can't even tell when I'm. <laughs> When I'm drunk, drunk, bro. Because I have a my tolerance is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. So when I drink hey. a lot, no, I can drink a lot. Yeah, I can. Can. I can bro. Drink a yeah, you can. Ton. You can. And then it gets like to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm lit. Like I'm super lit right now. Yeah. And I'll be like, but I don't feel the thing is I, I don't have any I effects. Totally I don't have any effects okay. of like my head. Like imagine, just, imagine someone getting to the point of blackout drunk, but still functioning high key. That stage when he's mm-hmm. drunk as shit. And see, Facts. I don't know if it's because some people are. I, I don't know if it's because people are, are different, like person to person. But it's like, like I said, even when, uh, like all, like I'm not not all. Most of the guys that we hang out with in our group, even when we're like ten out of ten. We know like what we're doing and we're saying yeah. in that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we might not remember, mm. but we know what we're doing and saying in that moment. Yeah, you get what I mean. And that's why I don't think it's a problem. I, no, no, I don't think it's <laughs> people should be using it as an excuse to yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah, you get yeah, what I mean yeah, to yeah. make a problem. To yeah, make yeah. A problem. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I don't know if it goes from person to person, and some people they're at a ten and they genuinely don't know what they're saying, you know, or what they genuinely don't know what they're doing, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. In my head, it's always been like even if you're at a ten out of ten. You have an idea of what you're saying and doing. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know what I mean? I like, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. That's why I don't think you should be using the I'm, "I was drunk" excuse ever yeah, for sure. in your entire life. I don't mm-hmm. think so. But um. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that's mm-hmm. justifiable yeah. excuse. Yeah. 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 But b- back to the original question about if you break up with them, if they can't handle their liquor, you're saying nah, probably not. No, I was saying like if they can't handle it, I'm not breaking up with them. But if they just drink too much and like we're always starting shit, then I'm breaking up with them. That's fine. And you're saying? I agree with Cynthia 100%. If they, but you, I thought you said earlier that it's you'd probably break up with them if they can't handle it. they can't liquor. handle themselves, yeah. She said it, they're starting a problem all the time every time they, it's every like, time they drink. Oh, I get what you mean. That's pretty yeah. much um, it's pretty It's like kind of, it same would thing, be right? the same thing. It, definitely problems would be created. Yeah, I feel like that overlaps. Got yeah, you. For sure. Gotcha. But yeah, I like, I just don't, I don't want my like significant other or someone I care about, like, I just feel like I get brought down. Mm-hmm. Like they're bringing me down with them. Your image? Not my image, but just like, Internally, I would feel like like this is not good for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, I like climbing up. Don't bring me down. Yeah. And I feel like having a friend that's always like blacking out or something, and I'm always taking care of him. Yeah. Like, that's like, just that's gonna slowly eat me alive. Somehow. It's having a codependent relationship. Yes. Even yes. if they're fine in like every other aspect except that. I think we need to separate Sage and Maru. No. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because then Devin sits next to him. No, I swear. No, let's just separate him. Oh, Cindy, so go sit. Wait. Go sit over there, Maru. Was, you want to switch? <laughs> Say okay, she is say? one of us now. <laughs> stop talking. Okay, okay. I'll, okay, I'll, okay stop, stop, stop talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you can stay there. We're not switching. Um, no, Devin and Madu are not switching. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's yes. the problem? You think it's a problem if your partner can't handle their alcohol? Um, yes. That's an issue. If it's an issue. If they're hitting a 10 out of 10 every time you guys drink. Yes, it's an issue and we got to talk about it and fix the problem. But I don't think it's something to break up over. But if they start in beef with you or trying to argue with you every time they drink. It's a it's a red flag, but not breakupable. You know what? It might be. Go. I feel like it's not breakupable until. <laughs> That's not a That's word. Not what a is word. it? It word. has to be breakable. Breakup worthy. Breakupable. Break- breakupable. I'm gonna use breakupable. Shabba lab ding dong. Boom. Okay. So <laughs> unbreakable. I feel yeah, like it is not word. unbroken. Break- breakup worthy. Breakup worthy. Breakup worthy. <laughs> breakup worthy. Yeah. Breakup worthy. Did you say that? Yeah, oh, she said break up. Yes. I said break up with it. Y'all ignore me though. Like she always. She said break up with it. <laughs> I can't. I can't <laughs> hear. <laughs> okay, so, um, I feel like it's not break up worthy <laughs> at first, but if it keeps happening and dreading on, that's what we're saying. You get, Every you single get time sick of it, dream. and you're like, dude, crazy. I can't put up with this shit anymore. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just too much. It actually. will get to that point. Got you, Sage. 
Yes, I agree. Breakup worthy if it keeps getting dragged on. Yes. Breakup worthy. But it's definitely it, doable to work things out. Okay. Breakup yeah. worthy if they always trying to start a fight with you every yes. time you drink. I don't like fights. Okay. And that's just what about like right off the bat? This red flag, and then you're gonna notice it like a lot more. Right, thank you. Um. Yeah, it's not. A, mm. See, yeah, it's one thing when you don't know somebody too well, and then it's one thing when you actually know somebody and you're like want to get to know them like more. Then it'd be doable. But if you barely like know them like first week and then you see that happening, like it's easy to cut somebody off like that. Okay, I have a follow up question for everyone. Mm-hmm. Scooch man. Yes. Should I switch with my? I can explain. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> Scooch man. I have a follow up question. Yeah. Um, would you say that? Mm-hmm. I guess being able to drink with your partner is like a test. Hmm. hmm. That's a good way of thinking about it. A test for what? To Their loyalty. Oh, wait, not, whoa. not not <laughs> loyalty. Whoa! <laughs> no whoa. way! Isn't it a test like, to be like, like, like boyfriend worthy or girlfriend worthy if you can drink with them? No, no, no. no, no. no. That, that just that's something you learn. Yeah, yeah. That's what something you, you learn about the person. Guess what? Wait, guess what? I'm confused. <laughs> Do you think that uh, being able to drink with them is like a test to see like if they're actually like boyfriend or girlfriend worthy? Not like a test, like like you guys said, like I wouldn't, I would. It's like a thing you learn. Just a thing you learn. It shouldn't be like you shouldn't be like you shouldn't be like okay, this like person's it's not perfect. A deal okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like this person's perfect. Like right off the bat. Now I'm gonna drink with them. If they're cool to drink with, they're the one. If they're not cool to drink with, then that's probably not okay. Okay, wait, Nick. It's funny. Like every single or like while we're talking about this i just keep thinking like i think i'm gonna get along with a guy better if he like smokes because you smoke so much yes yeah Mm, so like i don't know about drinking because for me drinking is just like a social thing but like if i can like smoke and chill with the guy like that's a big green flag oh wait cynthia that that brings on like another question but you go first i'll remember no i mean that was you guys answered my question oh that's good yeah you know how some girls they're like (laughs) like the first time you like smoke with the a guy you really like mm-hmm. and then everything they do cringes you out you know hmm? i i've heard of that but like i understand that and in the beginning it was like i would notice it but like i think it was just because i was getting awkward mm. but like i don't really get awkward when i smoke anymore so it's just like if they do something like faded you i'll know. be like <laughs> yeah, yeah. wait i need i need some i need you to elaborate like okay. when yeah, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm 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 actually confused. Confused. like I mean, when you're I, 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 you what's this thing going on? Yeah, what's okay. this thing? Wait, what happens? It's like it's, like it's just you, like when you smoke yeah. for the first time with a guy, and you like, guys are both faded. We're both faded, and then you just like look at him differently. <laughs> yeah, no, like actually, like you'd like spot every little like detail, and like That's sometimes they're like really cringe, you know. Yeah. But, but like you don't smoke a lot. <clears throat> but the thing is, I don't smoke a lot. Cynthia yeah. does, so maybe that's why. And then whenever I do smoke with like a new guy, it's just like. It's like I get turned off. Wait, so, so like easily. I'm saying, like if I'm smoking with a guy who yeah. doesn't smoke a lot, I'm noticing that more because he doesn't know uh, how to like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is, what be chill wait, about. So oh, that makes sense. Yeah, but yeah, if I smoke sure. with a guy who smokes a lot, we're like ah, yeah, yeah. watching fucking Nacho Libre. What if you're faded and he's <laughs> yeah. sober? Like, no, it doesn't work like that. If you're faded and he's sober, do you still notice like the weird little things that he does? Like, what do you mean? Mm-mm. What do you mean sober? Like, he like he, smoke he didn't smoke. All? Yeah, he didn't smoke. Like he doesn't smoke or he didn't. No, smoke? the one time that like let's oh, that's say you're, chill. okay. What if you're sober and he's faded? Like, that's he, chill. Okay, what oh, if but it only happens smoke. when you guys are both faded. You're gonna no, be no, noticing no. it. If he doesn't smoke, yeah, and we're both faded. Wait, like he doesn't smoke a lot. I get what she's saying. Like okay, me. thank you. She's basically <laughs> saying she only sees it as cringe or like a turn off. Got it. If the guy doesn't smoke. Got it. And then when and he's he being smokes, all like, like he, yes. does, he doesn't know how to <laughs> how to <laughs> act. See, me and Mel yeah. a long time ago. Uh-huh. We were all <laughs> <laughs> we crazy. It was so funny. What? We went to we went to a little park, right? And it was his girl. It was his girl and um, <laughs> her friend, and it was me and him, and we smoked, right? Wait, and are we, we allowed to put this fa- in? Yeah, it's right. it was a homegirl, homegirl. Okay. It, was, it was just me, your girlfriend, you, Oh, and, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We were just chilling, right? We were just smoking. Tried hooking him up, man. A long time ago. <laughs> no, don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, no one's gonna remember. Let me put it in. Let me put it in. Let me put it in. No. Bro, it's not a big Okay, deal. fine. That's fine. No one knows what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay, okay. So we like, dude, no, okay, this situation is definitely gonna, they're, they're, they're gonna know. Okay. 
Yeah. Then how are it's they gonna okay. know? Because it's so it specific. <laughs> how are they gonna <laughs> so know? We were, like, we were faded, bro. I remember we went, we went off because we brought, we brought like a basketball. We brought a football, right? We were, we, we, were, we were playing like we were fucking like, oh, bro, like yeah, like check this shit out, like doing all this shit, right? And they were just like sitting at the table, probably thinking like these guys are fucking idiots, bro. Like <laughs> so <laughs> basically, <laughs> me and Tejo are fucking faded. Yeah. And we Tejo's like, dude, let's go do something. And we brought a fucking basketball. You yeah. Know what we started doing what? Fucking. Football with basketball. Yeah. <laughs> we started running deep Dude. routes. He's with like, go! Basketball. <laughs> with the That's basketball. We were like, we were, every time I caught it, you caught, we run up, do the fucking jump yeah. celebration. Yeah. We're like, let's go! And they were just sitting there like, no. Oh and we started playing basketball. We didn't have a rim. It was like, a little, it was like this. Like, yeah. we were playing and we had to hit like, like if you that hit in, it, order, in order point. to score. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that was a crazy time. That was a fucking. That I was, was having a blast. Wait, did you guys look back and you're like, oh, they probably thought we were so crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about no, right like, now. I'm like, we would know mid. We were like doing it mid talk. We'd be like, they're just sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's the funny part. Yeah. Damn. But I mean, hey, you gotta take it or leave it, man. So that's what you're thinking about right now. Okay, that's something yeah, about right now. Like in that situation, I'm a fucking red flag, bro. Yeah, you're for gonna sure. see the real yeah. me come out. Yeah. Um, mm, I'm like, I'm playing Rihanna. I'm gonna bump my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of red flag, I feel like it's like more cringe. Not Damn. your guys' decision. No, no, no. Yeah. What, what you guys did, I feel like I find that funny. But I'm talking oh, about like... We were having a blast, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah. I, I don't know what it league. is. Honestly. No, I, I get what you mean. Like, sometimes people, like, their mannerisms get weird. Or like... Yeah. Because I've had that moment where I'm like, dude, you're like... Right? But it's like, I can't even tell if it's because I'm too high or it's because they're too high. And like, if I'm sober, would I think the same? Or is it because I'm high that I think this? I don't and know. You're like triple thinking. Okay. Yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. You start triple. You start quadruple <laughs> thinking, bro. No, when I get high, I be thinking. Like yeah. last time, I was talking about some like water <sighs> droplets. I don't fucking know. I have asthma, so I don't smoke. Damn, y'all be thinking when you smoke, dude. I let myself go. No, like, I don't I think, think about jack like, shit when I smoke. I smoke to forget. Bro, I just be laughing like fucking crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What'd you say? Think. I don't remember jack shit. <laughs> Is that what her? Let it go. <laughs> Moment so <laughs> You you need to go to an AA meeting, bro. <laughs> you need to go to an AA meeting, fam. Okay, other than that, we can move on to the next question then. Does that, does that sound like a plan? Alright, next question. Do you guys think that moving too fast in a relationship is a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Can you guys explain to me like why like why do you think it's bad to move too fast in a relationship? We like what are the re- No, we okay. haven't. Okay. What are like what are the okay. repercussions? Okay. What are the repercussions of moving too fast? The consequences of it, um, I guess. Too much responsibility for each other. Like too much. I don't know how to explain it. We can go. We can go in a circle. We can go in a circle. Yeah. That's um, what you say. You can keep going. Yeah, not really like that though. It's like it's almost like an obligation. Like once you make it already too many times that you hang out with each other, it's like you kind of have to because you can't just like go from hanging out every day to just like oh I'm gonna see you like probably like, one time this week or I'm gonna see you like twice this week. It'll definitely throw the other person off. Like that's too many. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I get it. Exactly what you're saying. Yes. That's what I think. It's like, okay, for me, bro, everything we talk about, like, it's it's like happened like recently. That's how that's how podcast works. Like we literally, me, you, me, you, and you. We talked about this already. But I'll repeat it for the podcast. Yeah, me, you, me, you, and you. But it's good though because we have we have. Yeah, knowledge yeah, on it. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. why I also wrote it down because I remember it. Yeah. I remember, don't you remember <laughs> we were talking about it and I was like, oh, I need to write this down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chime in too, like, because yeah, like sure. I might like not be able. Yeah. Wait, can I add something after they talk? Yes. Okay. Don't forget it. Go, Mari. Okay. So for me, um, I felt like I told you guys, I felt so like um, what is that? Did you say was, trapped or cage? Yeah, I felt so trapped because it was happening too fast, and it's like I just got out of like uh, a non and off long term relationship, right? And it's like. And I moved too fast with this guy, right? And it's like, I just got out of something that I don't want to go back in so fast. But like, even though we weren't like exclusive or even dating, I felt so trapped because for some reason, with this guy specifically, like, um, I felt like obligated to be like loyal and like obligated, you know? So like, even like... I'd feel bad about doing certain things that would be okay. Even though you're single. Yes, and like because it's okay. we were moving so fast. But why were you guys moving so fast? Because. Sometimes I, you didn't even know, though. Yeah. yeah I don't really know. Okay, like, yeah. You just recognize it out of nowhere. Yeah. Yes. And then you realize, like, yo. Like, fuck. I, I gotta. That's yeah. when people are like, I'm not ready. Y- I yes. Feel like, right? Does that make yes, sense? Devin. Okay. Yes. So literally, I, I literally, like, in 
in between all of that we were moving so fast blah 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 in between all of it i was like holy shit like i'm not fucking ready for this it's like i'm much. not ready was there a too moment much. where you were like oh shit like we are moving too fast yes there was what a was moment. the moment can you say it um mm. it just like mm, i just like it was always in the back of my head got it okay that's fine that's yes fine. it was that's fine. i'm like damn like this is starting to feel committed like you know mm -hmm. and then one day i like woke up and i was like i can't do this anymore like i'm not ready for this shit it really does hit you at one time yeah i called him i was like dude um i don't want to do this anymore like i'm like i can't do this i'm sorry like i'm just not ready to be in a relationship i don't want to hurt you i don't want to hurt me blah blah, blah. <clears throat> done wait so i think mm -hmm. like you know how you're like oh i don't want to get hurt mm -hmm. i think moving fast is like you know you like hook up with that person it's like moving fast but like yeah. if you don't like get to know the person mm -hmm. like you guys like go on a couple dates like spend more time together before that happens it's like you don't really know like what he's doing on the side yeah and so like if you move fast you're basically just like another like booty call or like a hookup okay so, like if you take things slow first like yes. you build a connection yeah, so before it's like <coughs> hey what are we what doing? i wanted to add on to that cynthia like she basically said what i was gonna say mm -hmm. i feel like when you move too fast you don't truly understand the person mm -hmm. and then like and then when That's you do realize who they you are, realize you realize like, it, isn't it? Fuck, like, I'm not ready for this, or maybe they're not the one for me, and then you gotta be like... It, like, it's too late to it's realize. It's too late to realize. Yeah. That's what happened. Like, that's why you should take things slow, so you get to know the person, make sure they're the one that is for you. Got it. Yeah, and it You're fucking really sucks, because you regret it later. You're like, yeah. damn. Regret what? Like, I should have taken it out. slow. Like, they're fucking cool as fuck. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so yes, Cynthia. Wait, I thought yes. I thought, I thought, thought you were moving too fast and you realized that it was too fast because they weren't the right like person no, for no, you. No, 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 it's not like that. No, 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 no. it's like, at first it just starts off as like, um, like a booty call, you know? Like, you're taking things fast. Like, it's just like, boom, so boom, then boom, why, boom, boom. I'm confused. Like, like if they're cool, yeah, like, why, why stop? Uh, not necessarily. Actually, yeah. Nick, it could be both, though. Like, no, I feel that. Yeah, like, you guys start up, like, booty call, blah, blah, start, and then you guys start hanging out a lot, but then you realize that they're not really, you don't really like them in that way. Oh. But yes. you, you, you said earlier, though, that you kind of regret it because you're like, damn, they're cool as fuck. Like, I wish we would have taken it slower. So, why did you stop seeing them if it was moving too fast? If you really liked them? If that makes sense. Okay, I think I could kind of answer that. Maybe you could build off of it. Yeah, like yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Because I like I feel like Maori relates to this. Mm -hmm. Like, is it overwhelming for you guys? Is it is mean, like, like coming, coming to terms much, with my like, feelings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I feel like people just get overwhelmed, and by then you're like, I can't handle this right yeah. now. Like, by the time you like, say oh, right now, it's too sure. late. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? if the guy is moving fast with me, like, how many other girls is he moving fast with? <laughs> okay, it's not that though for me. Because like, I knew this guy was on wasn't talking to any other girls because literally we were with each other twenty four seven. Like that's it was, also yeah. yeah yeah yeah. There like, was no time for him know. to even like talk Be to other people else. or me either. Like we would Facetime all the time. Like I'm, like texting, yeah. Facetiming, mm -hmm. sleeping over each other's houses. So there was like no time for him to do that. It was, I think it was just really I w I was feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, that's what it was. And in your case, did you also feel overwhelmed when you were moving too fast? I, think I do feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it's just like commitment issues okay and say so you're saying that it's just like an overwhelming feeling to the point where you're like i think i realize how picky i am so in your so case you're she, saying it's like it's, it's not, not the one right. yeah. yeah in your case yeah. it's not the one it's just yeah I yeah say that but it's like i i felt that too yeah for sure yeah. it's like i understand now like even if i go with them with like two dates like i'd be like damn like i can't see myself with this person for a year like that's how i'm thinking now I wouldn't be. I wouldn't want to waste my fucking time with nobody no more. Like I'm, I just want a real relationship. Yeah. Okay. So then that makes sense. But it's it's interesting to hear like, at least that it happened in different ways for all you guys. Yeah. Moving too yeah. fast for like you guys, or like, at least moving too fast for you was it wasn't the right person. Moving too fast for you though was just like, or you three. It sounds like, or at least not no, not I you, just, but like like yeah. in your like how you see it. Yeah. How yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and how you see it, and in Madu and Cynthia's case, it was like just overwhelming, to the point where it was like yes they're a cool person but like this is too fast but did you guys not think like to tell them like hey let's take it slower 
Or can you even go slower once you start going too fast? Yeah. I don't think I don't so, bro. Just, yeah. Think so. Can you go slower? That's the question. I've it's, tried that, like yeah. bringing it back slow, but it's just it's not. You can't. It, it, it yeah. won't work. I feel like once you're already on that once you're already on yeah. that pace, like I'm yes. putting like a metaphor. Once you're already in that pace, like, it's hard to slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. like I feel like once you slow it down, it's still gonna speed right back. Up, yes. Mm. What Devin said. It's like that or just yeah. feel right. So it's like so it's yeah. like I see you. I see you every day. I see you every day, and then one one of us says like, hey, let's slow it down. So now we see each other let's just being facetious once a week and then i see you and it's like now nah, it's a little weird or something like that or i Look, kind i want to see you tomorrow though i don't want to see exactly, you next week exactly i want to see you tomorrow yeah because we've been seeing each other every day mm -hmm. also i think with like that overwhelming thing it's like i'm scared of like falling in too deep so i pull out before that happens okay yeah that makes sense yeah. but um do you think it's possible to move too fast to the point where both people feel like it, that you guys are moving too fast yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. I don't know what the other thinking. Yeah, yeah, probably could happen. Yeah. yeah. Also, when it does happen too fast, like you don't really have time to like talk about like yeah. the actual. Yeah. You're like, just kind of thinking about yourself. Yeah. Like, feelings and shit. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. can I add? I feel like sometimes when you don't even realize you're moving too fast until you realize. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. yeah. That's what you were saying yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. 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 Damn. Then you already made your mind up, and you're like, all right, I'm just gonna break it off today. And yes. then it happens. And like once like, it's happening I'm fast, it's already that. too late. Yeah. Damn. So that that sucks. So that's why you guys are saying like, suck. if you yeah. can, just take it slow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. For sure. But take it's, it's easy. hard to take it slow. Especially if you like someone a lot too, yeah. or you exactly. like you like yeah. their company. Yeah. Yes. Right. Because you can like someone's company. We like. I guess. I guess it goes back to being infatuated with yeah. someone. Mm -hmm. You can like someone's company a lot and enjoy like being around them. Just okay. Yeah. That, like, <clears throat> when you say like yeah. that, that's like the story you hear a lot. Like if you talk to friends or whatever who's been through that, it's like they were good people, but I just wasn't ready. Like yeah. you hear that a lot. You know, yeah. they're a cool guy, cool girl. I just wasn't ready. And I feel like you hear that a lot. Yeah. You know what's crazy though? Like before, when people say that to me, I'm like, that's just a fucking excuse. Like, no, you didn't like. I don't know, but like now Wait, we can we go back to that question? Yes. Like, do Which you question? think now? Um, do you think there's a right person, wrong time? I remember oh. you guys were saying no, but yes. like I feel like you guys are now. No, yeah, I think, yeah, that's a good question. Huh. I agree with you. Like, even though you did, you did convince us, but like now it's like. I'm like, I like, kind of see it dude, other I was ways. so in between both sides. I fucking remember. You remember I that, huh? Know. I, do, I do remember it. I do remember what we're talking about. And but you said no, huh? I said no. The only reason why is because it could be the right person, wrong time, but the other person feels like it's the right person, right time. Yeah. And if they were to think that, I don't think the other person would be like, they just don't really care about me that much. And it's not, I don't know how to word it, though. It's got to go I, both ways. Yeah, the way that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It has to be like, like you got, you're the right person. Be, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'll be there later. Yeah. The other person would be like, okay, yeah. 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 But then if that doesn't happen, you'd be like, wow, that's really fucked up. Definitely. Damn. That's a good or way to if put it's it. the opposite, then it's like, damn, like, I really want to do right now. Like, please, like, yeah. just do something with me. And then, like, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But. Yeah. Um, I just have one quick question to follow up. Okay. So, Madi, you said in your case, mm -hmm. you felt overwhelmed because you just weren't ready to hop back into a relationship that mm -hmm. fast, right? That's valid. Yeah. Can you move too fast, but be ready? for like a relationship is that a thing like let's say you're like ready you want to be in a relationship this is the person you guys say i was about to say this i think it's circumstantial i feel like once yeah you're right out of a relationship moving fast is not a good idea yeah but if, if you're, you're ready, like you're if ready. you're ready then moving fast is chill like you guys click like mm. bet fucking date Damn, that's yes Cynthia. yeah okay, Cynthia. for sure that wait i asked the, i asked the question i asked i asked the question <laughs> i asked the question no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, i want to yeah. high five <laughs> <high -five. laughs> why are you have no i don't want hers i want yours <laughs> Get out of the way, you peasant. <laughs> I've never heard of that, though. Don't Ooh. call Cynthia Go back. a peasant. <laughs> Go back to your crack pipe. <laughs> just kidding. Hey. Just Sorry, kidding. we're stoned. Can I get a high five? You know I just got an A. Can I get a high five? <laughs> 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 N.A.? A.A.? But for that, I've never heard of that, though. Um, okay, I've wait, never heard of people being like mutually like, oh, like let's take this fast. Like, we can you just go into a relationship right away. I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's why, like... You don't have to like talk about it. Like, yeah, imagine yeah, like, you're both desperate for a relationship, and no you would never be like, "Oh, you're just like, you don't think it's too fast?" Like, get something like that, and then like, would that make say, you think? Say awesome? you're really ready for a relationship. That's what I'm saying. I'm I feel really like ready for a relationship. <laughs> and I haven't met anybody like that. Like, like, oh, well, like, no. I'm saying but because you're picky, it. you're taking a look at a different sense. Because like, okay, imagine <laughs> your dream girl. She's fucking perfect, and you're absolutely ready for a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's absolutely ready for a relationship. Okay. Why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. So oh, I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, there's a blue circle, and then when I turn, there's no blue circle. It's the <laughs> glisten. It's, it's the oh, it is. You're yeah. oh, like, What the idiot, fuck, man? Sorry, you're an idiot. <laughs> Long day, <laughs> man. Jesus, you four <laughs> characters. But um, I'm crazy. So then, so then, I guess, I guess it does come down to s- circumstances because, in Madu's case, it makes sense moving too fast because she wasn't ready. Yeah. Yes. Sage's uh, case it makes sense moving too fast because he realized that it wasn't really the right person for him, okay? In your case, moving too, too fast, because it was, you still weren't ready or just wasn't the right I, person? It was commitment issues. Commitment issues, okay? So I guess it is and then move, circumstantial. And then moving too fast when you're ready. <laughs> so so in, in everyone's opinion here, maybe it's not the right opinion, you know? Maybe it's not right, but like in your guys' so, opinion, yeah. do you think that you can move too fast if you're ready for a relationship? Mm-hmm. You still, it's still possible to move too fast. Like love well, yeah. at first sight type shit, you know. Like, is it still possible to move too fast if you're ready for a relationship? It is possible. Okay. See, so yeah, yeah, exactly. I've never been in that situation, so I can't really speak on it too much. Mm. Okay. And and everyone's or you guys want to talk? Okay, in? wait. Like, is it too fast if you're both ready? Yeah. That's what you're asking, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. say you're both ready. Is it possible for it still to be moving too fast? Do you still think that way? I don't know. I th- I think if you're both like ready, I don't think there's too fast. I don't think it would be too fast. I just would be kind of like thinking about how s- how fast is too fast. Like how long would it be until you make it like boyfriend girlfriend or exclusive? Because that's two different things now that we're older right now. Like exclusive and boyfriend and girlfriend are two different things. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So I, I don't really good, know. I have a good like, point on this. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think. Wait, sorry, I zoned out. Oh, fuck. Wait, I actually, I, I think there can be <laughs> okay, too fast. Okay, okay. There can be too no, fast. No, yeah, yeah, now I remember what I was gonna say. Okay. Um, I don't think it's too fast. I just think they're not the one for you. Yeah, and that yeah. goes back to Sage. That goes back to Sage. Oh, sorry, I zoned out. I was looking That's at like the room. Right. Okay, like it can be too fast, even if you're both ready for a relationship, because. You don't really know the person yet either. Mm. Okay. Like that makes sense. Can I ask them? Yeah, yeah. I feel like okay, for me, I don't know about you guys. When I really like somebody, it just automatically just moves really fast. Yeah. Like I can't control it. It's It's just like self control moving slow. Yeah. 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 That's what I was gonna ask next. So I was gonna be like, if you like someone a lot, like you're gonna wanna be around them. And so I was gonna unless you wanna keep going? Uh, Oh no, it's okay, you can ask My follow up was gonna come back to Sage. It was like at that point is like Moving too fast, like you said earlier, like what's too fast, right? Yeah. Does that come down to being circumstantial again? Like some people say like too fast is hanging out every day. Some people say too fast is having sex too soon. Some people saying like moving too fast is like acting exclusive, you Mm -hmm. know, when you guys really like there's no need to be, you know, there hasn't been that talk. So like does everyone have their own personal opinion of too too fast? fast? I it sounds like it, yeah. yeah. Too fast for me is definitely. Can I hear you as opinion? Doing the deed. Doing the deed, like yeah. too soon. Because uh, hanging out with someone is like you can be friends up until you do the deed. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, sure. What like, do you think? Um, I don't really know. I've never been in, like. That's fine. If you if you don't have, an, I think like a, the only time I've been in that situation was, uh, I don't really know why. I just like. I got too emotionally attached and we weren't even the thing. And I was just like, this is not good for me, dude. Like, mm-hmm. like definitely a big thing. I don't definitely know. Definitely a big thing. Can you, I definitely know that yeah. situation. Wait, say it again. You were too the, emotionally attached? Too emotionally attached too soon. Like, but how'd you realize it if you were emotionally attached? Like, what was the I realization? Realized, like, I was hurting myself. Yeah, exactly. On on how and in what sense? Like, you were relying on them too much? Yeah. For emotional support? For like uh, everything no. really it's like, not really it's not it, I like i wouldn't say my it. happiness or anything it was just like like i was doing everything for them for them me. yeah ah yeah but yeah so like i'd say that is mine so like i definitely had to take a step back for a long time and just be like oh. love before self-love yeah, yeah exactly almost like a priority yeah, making that's good yeah, yeah yeah no no that's what i was going through oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I was like, what? <laughs> I know a thing or two, motherfuckers. <laughs> I know. I might not have been in a relationship, <laughs> but I know a thing or two. Mm-hmm. See, I feel like I learn a lot from people coming to me for advice. Like, yeah, for sure. I'm always like, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm like go to for a lot of people, and I just yeah. like, I pull everything together. I'm like, okay, let's weigh out the yeah, the numerals. I feel like I'm like emotionally intelligent at this point, though. Tax, self love, baby. Tax. Um, Maru, 
I was gonna say, I feel like you guys are my therapist sometimes. <laughs> Wait, true. Like, like, yeah, talking? some of these talks, I'm like. Yeah. I forget we're on a podcast sometimes. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, it's yeah, nice though. It's nice though. Same. You what? So I forget that we're on a podcast oh, sometimes. Yeah. I be forgetting sometimes too. Bro, I totally zoned out for like five yeah. minutes just listening to you guys. I was like, damn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 But, um, Staring at this fucking ring too. Maria, too fast. What's, what's too fast in your opinion? Um, I don't think having sex on like the first day is too fast. Your, your opinion though of what's too fast. Your opinion yeah. is just like, it's, it just hits you. Too fast is when it starts, it, it feels like a relationship already. Mm. With like nothing discussed with nothing discussed okay mm. when or like let's say like you're what you only known this person for like what three weeks and it already feels like you're in a relationship that's too fast got it yes okay. i think it's the d for me i just for me it's just because i get like too attached to that person like sex After is, the the sex is yeah. like a big thing for yeah. me like sex is like love got yeah. it I, like sex is too much for me got like it. if, I, if that were to happen before it gets like i'm gonna be for you and all for you like that's got that's it. me but yeah it's hard it's like if i imagine like having sex with a guy on the first date versus hanging out with a guy for two months and then having sex with him like honestly i don't think that's ever happened because <laughs> be, it's, it's probably because you like the guy like yeah, you try yeah. like you're into exactly, it yeah exactly. Exactly. for sure so for it sure. is self-control like yeah so but if i do think about it like we hang out i get to know the guy and then it happens like that's totally different but does it matter if like okay yeah that makes and sense and i know like before that he's giving me like his time of day yeah like yeah yeah mm. um can we take a break because i need to pee i need to pee really, really badly man. i drink like six okay. waters today dude. we'll be right back guys <laughs> don't go anywhere <laughs> do my little dancey dance I do my little dancey dance guys check out the leg tats you can see them i have a skull with tulips for my for my mother nothing happened to her i just love her mom mommy i have yeah. birds Cause I thought it looked cool and I got it off TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I got So It Goes because of Mac Miller. I love you, Mac. Um, you were one of my favorite artists. You still are. And you helped me a lot through my days. Thank you. Shout out Mac Miller. You helped me a lot. Same with Kikuddy and J. Cole and a lot of other artists. But yeah, music helps me a lot. And you should listen to music when you feel sad. Yeah, I had to pee so bad. Sorry, guys, we gotta take a quick break. Everyone needed to pee, and Rue no. Rue over here needed to do some drugs in the in the alley, <laughs> and that's not a lie. She wish I was lying. She ran from the ops. Um, unless anyone ha- else has anything else to add on the moving too fast part, we can go on to the final question of the night. Let's I think we pretty it. much wrapped it up. Chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is saying sorry to someone after you break things off fucked up? <laughs> 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 saying sorry to someone I like i break up with you and i say sorry like i'm sorry i'm sorry for breaking it off yeah no. i feel like okay. that's normal right? <laughs> it's not like fucked up but i feel like for some reason i get like mad i'm like or okay wait what do you mean like okay wait like i'm like i'm like hey you know i want to end things off blah, blah blah i'm sorry Just tell me, just tell me what's on your mind. Don't matter if it's controversial, just tell me. <laughs> okay, like for sure in the past, I'm like, what the fuck are you saying sorry for? Hmm. I'm sorry that. Like, okay, are we are we dating? Like, no, it's been like a year? Dating or bre- just breaking things off in the talking stage. Is there a difference? Me saying sorry? If I just want it to end right there and then? No. Nah, <laughs> nah, don't hit me with that. No, hey, give me it, give me it. No. Yeah, she said no. <laughs> no, let me hear it. Yeah. 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 Why why does sorry why why would sorry bother you? Why would someone say it's sorry like bother circumstantial. you? It's like circumstantial. On what? I don't want to talk about it. I guess it is kind mm. of circumstantial though. Well, cuz cuz okay, go ahead. What? It's like sorry <laughs> you're missing out on all this. Ooh, <laughs> see I'm not meaning it I'm like not, that. Yeah, I know you're not. When but I say like, sorry, I'm like genuinely sorry. No, I know. Yeah. But like, even like being genuinely sorry, like that's like pity or like. Sorry, you're missing out. So yeah, yeah, I think I, I'd I'd think like, I know oh where God. you're coming from. You know what I mean? It's like, you're like, dude, just like fucking break up with me. You don't have to say sorry. Like, yeah, fuck you. Like, keep like, that shit to yourself. Like, it's like, sorry, but like, how do you know like how I'm feeling about it? Like, you could have just been my fucking booty call, you know? 
Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a I'm confused now. <laughs> I thought you meant uh, like you don't like it when they say sorry because it's like. Hmm. You don't think they mean it? When you break it things like, off. <clears throat> when you just break things off. It's like. I see why. It's just like, why are you even saying sorry? Just like break it off. Okay, why is. I don't know. That's like my thought process. It's like. I'm saying. But I don't know. Okay. I'll wait up. Like, is he saying sorry because he just wants to, like, do some fuck shit? Or, like, because it isn't meshing? Like, sorry on my part that I'm not... Attracted to you? No, 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 not even attracted to you. Not, no, no, not definitely not that. You would never be with somebody like that if you didn't think they were a little Uh bit attractive. But sorry as in, like... Sorry that it didn't work out. But I'm not, like... I can't be 100%. Oh, my God, I'm doing that every time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I keep, what? like sorry that I, I can't be 100% there for you. Or sorry that it didn't work out. Like, sorry, that too, but, but what, when I'm, I'm saying sorry, I meant like I'm sorry I'm not ready like for you. Like I'm sorry that I, I can't give you what you want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying sorry for. Because I think everybody then deserves why, that. Why? I think everybody deserves like, that. Like what is it that she wants that you can't give her? A relationship. Oh. Yeah, like just me in general. So when you first started off with this girl, you're just thinking, oh, it's just like, like a, just going like, a date. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like dates. Like you just like a couple dates. Not a couple of dates, but like stage. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you go on a couple dates with her. Yeah, and just didn't and work like out. you just yeah, realize like, hey, like this isn't working on my part. I'm sorry that it's not working on my part. I know it was for you, but I'm genuinely sorry that I can't like, I can't do my all for but you. But like, are you really sorry? Like, yeah, it's I'm not, 100% sorry. It's not sorry. It's just like we just don't vibe. Like you don't have to. No, because if it was me, it. I'd be like, damn, like. It is sorry. Like I, I didn't. I, just, I would, that's how I think about that. Like if it was me on the other side, I would want them to be like, "Hey, like I'm so sorry." So the feeling like, of happened. being sorrowful or being sorry that comes mm-hmm. out of place of like you thinking you hurt the girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Like, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. So why yeah. are you thinking like that? What do you mean? I think. About I, think I think you kind of know if you guys clicked, like, and you broke it off. You yeah. Kinda, that's because like, you know it's not yeah, best yeah, for yeah. you. If you were to cut it off, you'd know they feel like like shit. And it's because yeah. you broke it off. Cynthia, are you saying it's like it's like, dude, like it's fine. Like I'm literally fine. Why are you saying sorry? Type shit. Like, yeah. and now that like, you're saying I sorry, I'm okay. mad because yeah. it's like oh. I like you think oh. that I care. Yeah. Is it kind of like you think that I cared more? Yeah. More about you yeah. than you think. Yeah. Got but what it. if so they like, felt sorry because they actually did feel like just genuinely like that kind of person for you? Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like you're saying, like sorry, I don't vibe with you. Not. In a sense, that is kind of the way, but it's like sorry, like, cause it was like a thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, yeah, not like we were nothing. It was like not like we were nothing, or like, like we were just fucking. Yeah, exactly. Cause it wasn't. Yeah, you're talking about like, and we're talking this specific specific scenarios like we were talking, we were going on dates. Yeah, got it. And you guys did click mm-hmm. at some point, mm-hmm. but now it's just not it. At yeah. least for one person. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's just my, like, that's, that's how I feel. I, I, I genuinely, I think, I genuinely I think, feel sorry. I think every time I break it off with someone, I would say sorry. Because I think that they would feel like that way about me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if they don't, like, say, like, oh, That like, makes sense. Why would you, like, don't be sorry. Like, I don't really care about you. I'd be like, yeah. damn. Well, I mean. I don't, do you I think, really do you think it's like, it's like pitiful? Is that what you're thinking? Like, I'm, I'm being, like, I'm pitying you because I'm breaking it off? Honestly, it matters about the, the circumstance. What if we're dating? I agree. Yeah. And then I break it off. I think it's valid for me to say sorry. If we're dating, like serious, <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, okay. Even then, you don't think it's valid to say sorry to someone? Just just end it. Not just That deserves a sorry. Dating. Why are you breaking up? Why, why are we breaking Just up? didn't work out. Like, I, I just, not, not for any specific reason, not for cheating, not for anything. I just, it just didn't work out. Like, I don't know. To me, I'm taking it like, sorry. I don't fuck with you. You just don't like, do you not like the word sorry? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm yeah. just like, like, like defensive or like. A lot of people, a lot of people don't like the word sorry. A lot of people hate the like word sorry. I feel like when it's, yeah. a, when it's, it when it's, when it's something deep to you, like sorry shouldn't mean shit. Mm-hmm. Like I agree with Cynthia. Yeah, that, I think that's where like, you're coming if, from. If it's something that's super meaningful to you and you just get like a, Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm like, it's what the, the like, fuck like, are you saying like, sorry like, for? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I can see. I can see where that comes in. Wait, point. explain it to me again. If, it, if it's something deep to you that you like, like, say like a deep relationship, uh-huh. and like you sorry, give, it's not like, gonna fix. Sorry, it. it's not gonna yeah. work. Exactly. It's like it's uh. like 
sorry that me. that's fucking like, it. Just you know by mean? saying sorry, yeah. you think like it's okay. It's like okay. don't pity me and say sorry. So like, it is, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. pity, and then it's like me thinking like a sorry is gonna fix yeah, 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 me yeah, breaking yeah. up with yeah. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's like it's like it's like me trying to rip a bandage off. And then I guess trying to put it like, back on. Yeah, yeah right. Like, just like yeah. slowly rip it yeah. off. Yeah. Is what you're saying. It's yeah, all yeah. Limp, it's all limp and dirty. Yeah. That's a good yeah. fucking yeah. metaphor, yeah, like, bro. Just fucking rip it off. Rip it, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So okay. So then, would you guys say that if someone is gonna break it, if maybe it's different between guys and girls? Um, hold on. Before I even ask the next question, what do you what do you guys think if a girl breaks it off with you and um, she says sorry? I, I I'm agree with Cynthia. Like it's definitely circumstantial. Like if you guys genuinely clicked and it ended on like. You guys both realize you guys aren't for each other, like a mutual agreement. Like, sorry is fine. Mm-hmm. Sorry didn't work out. Likewise, I'm sorry too. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Mutual. But yeah. if you're fucking deep in love and somebody ends it and, like, I'm so sorry it didn't work out, I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 It's not, it's not yeah. helping anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh. I think a sorry would be okay. Like, yeah, but yeah, what I'm saying is, I want more. Like, I just want to know closure. I want, oh, yeah, I want closure. I want, I want to know more context rather than just sorry. Oh, sorry so what you guys are saying is like, don't say sorry to me when we break up unless it was like mutual because then it's like, oh, sorry, it didn't work out. But like when it's just one person, it's like, you're breaking my heart. Yeah, it's like Why saying the, like, I'm yeah. breaking your heart. Like, and I'm yeah, sorry, I'm breaking that. your heart. Yeah. Oh, I see. But like, I don't give a fuck. Like, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So then, okay, so then let's take Sage and Dev. Like, if you guys got broken up with, let's say dating. We're dating, okay? Um, We're dating. Any we're, we're dating. We're dating. I like that concept. Yeah. You like you like, like the us three. <laughs> yeah, you like the snare. You want to get modern so chicken nuggets? Hot. Yeah, like yeah, and then I'll I'll bring it back. Wow. Give me a second, guys. Modern needs to eat. I feel like when you say sorry, you're making it about the other person. Like just like say like why it's not working out for you. Like sorry, like or no, <laughs> like. <what? laughs> that sounded like that one girl yeah. on TikTok. I was like, what the fuck was that? that? That threw me off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so like when I'm just. Ah! Sorry when I no I said sorry was like when I wasn't yeah. trying to it just like oh. I get what you mean no I get what you mean it just fucking came out okay that's fine that threw me off another bro. thing <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia wait I, you know what that's now that, what that I think about it I kind of agree with Cynthia I feel like I it would annoy me it's like if uh, someone like, was breaking up with me right and I got my heart broken because this man was breaking up with me and then he says yeah sorry or something like that I feel like I'd be mad but I yeah. wouldn't know why no that's why damn, am I mad? Man, you guys got a good no, like, point. I, I'm trying to justify my like yeah, thought process. Damn. Yeah, that yes. is, I agree with that. Damn. That's hard to explain because yeah. like, I yeah. feel like I would be that way too, but I just don't know why. Yeah. It's Maybe like, it's driven out of heartbreak. Oh, Damn. Yeah, because you're, yeah. yeah. That's so weird because when you, uh, I, yeah, I don't necessarily know why though. Yeah. That's weird. Like, why? They're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so like uh, the other day when I was ending it with that person, uh, I guess I never really thought of sorry being read in that context uh-huh. but now that you yeah. said it yeah i'm kind of thinking like damn i think i would be mad if yeah. like right because and i wouldn't know how to i wouldn't know how to ex- explain it and i would yes, just take it out of them because it, it just didn't work out for you but to the girl she was in it you know damn. and so in the girl's perspective she's like i don't yeah damn like okay if that makes sense like i i yeah. think like roles reverse i was breaking off with someone I think sorry would be the right thing, but I think I'm saying sorry because I'm pitying them. Yeah, exactly. Like then, you, you're trying to make it better for yourself. And then yes, roles reverse I'm again. You're saying to sorry to me. I am gonna take it as an offense. Mm. Yeah. Now that you right? guys are talking yeah. about it, I feel yeah. like now I see my thought, like why I would be mad. I think it is. It all comes down to like, why the fuck are you saying sorry? Like, stop fucking pitying me when you're like breaking up with me. It's like. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, break up yeah. with me. Just yeah. break up just, with me and tell me yeah, why. Yeah, just yeah. simply break up with me. Tell me why. Don't say sorry. Don't say like, like hope you have a good life. I don't fucking know. Just just break up with yeah, me. Yeah, just break up with me. Don't ask. We should, can we still say friends? Yeah, like have a good life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to break up with you. <laughs> like bro, like have a good life is just spiteful. <laughs> Do you guys think the sorry should come into, or at least can come into play when you guys are both mutually ending it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because uh, it, it, if it's a mutual agreement, right you guys just sit down and talk, it's not going to work out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then on good terms, a sorry is like, okay, like we understand each other. So I was going to ask earlier if the guys would take offense to a sorry. I realize now I think I might take offense to it. I th- I'm agree with Cynthia and Molly. If I was I would, answer it, yes. I, yeah, yeah, I would probably be offended, but I don't know why. Don't know why yeah. either. I think we kind of address it though. It's, no, it's, yeah. it's because like it's kind of like it's like, them like 
pitying us to a yeah, certain extent. Sense. It's yeah. them pitying you when you're already. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry yes. that it, I, now I'm thinking of it. Thinking of it, and it's kind of like Nick. it's kind of like them saying like I'm sorry that you weren't good enough for me. Nick, you did you mean? hear what I said? No, say it again. You're fucking annoying. I'm not gonna say it again. You can watch it over in the fucking camera. Damn. Damn. I don't even be doing nothing to <laughs> this woman either. Damn. I literally don't that be doing dude nothing. Got roasted? Fuck. Damn. I keep hitting my fucking chin on the <laughs> Yeah, I hear it every time. Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? It's like, like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um Damn, that makes sense. That makes sense then. Then you guys Okay, let me say it again. It's the <laughs> <laughs> It's them pitying you when you're already heartbroken. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that just makes shit like worse. worse. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I see that. And that's why That's what it is. Everyone at the end of the day agrees that if you're going to break it off with someone it doesn't matter. I think now we've realized it doesn't really matter even the circumstances. Yeah. Don't, say sorry. don't say sorry. Like yeah. I agree with you. I think my initial thought would be like sorry, this is not working out. But and like, it's, it's your like yeah. I'm sorry that you yeah. weren't good enough. Yeah. Like you yeah, weren't good enough for me. But like yeah, uh, if if I got that I'd be like don't say sorry what yeah. the fuck. Like I I I feel like yeah. I don't think I would now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of like I think if I did sit on it and I, I read the sorry. It's kind of like, it. She had a point earlier. Like, what are you sorry for? Yeah. You know. And I, I yeah. before before when I ended it with that girl, mm -hmm. and like I was thinking about the sorry part. I was kind of thinking like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make shit better. I'm trying to put the band aid back on. Mm. It don't really work like that. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta okay. get a new band aid. Eye opening. Yeah. Wait. I feel like I've done that before too, and I've, I've had somebody done that to do that to me. And it didn't feel good when they said sorry. It's like, dude, why the fuck are you saying sorry? Yeah. But I did do that shit once. And like, it's like when you put yourself in another person's shoe, yeah. you just see it yeah, all. Yeah, I guess you just have to see it. Like yes. That. Yeah. You guys would just say at the end of the day, break up with them, give them closure, tell them why it mm -hmm. didn't work out. Yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Don't even, don't say sorry. Unless it's mutual. Right? Unless it's mutual. Maybe go a different route if it's mutual. But like, if it comes down to you're the one that's ending it at the end of the day, don't say sorry. Give them closure and break up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I talk about this combo though? What? She's eating tapatio with barbecue sauce. She eats tapatio with every type of sauce <laughs> and it's fucking disgusting. That fucking that's sick, like though. that's like local that crackhead recipe. I fucking Euphoria, you baby. Euphoria, Euphoria, baby. Euphoria, Euphoria, baby. Euphoria, baby. Euphoria vibes. <laughs> Wait, it's like spicy barbecue sauce. Yeah. So. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Other hey, than you know what's that, fire? Oh. what? Hot Cheetos with Chick fil A sauce. I probably couldn't handle that. No, you hot Cheetos? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hot Cheetos with ranch. Really? Yo, I'm gonna try that. Okay. Ew! Oh, no, 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 no. I think That's fire. Trust me. I think we should end on that note. We are currently <laughs> on an hour <laughs> twenty-five. Fuck that! You guys ever tried crack <laughs> cocaine? <laughs> yeah. Tell her, yeah, baby. <laughs> Euphoria. What? <laughs> this is guys. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this podcast up. Like, follow, subscribe, leave us a rate on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I'm your host, Limon. I'm Sandia. My fucking El Coco, baby. <laughs> I forgot mine. Mango. <laughs> mango. Mango. Ooh. Mario the mango. And listen, guys. At the end of the day, don't say you're sorry. Don't go too fast in a relationship. Don't smoke crack, guys. Don't smoke <laughs> crack. Smoke don't crack. do that. Please don't. And <laughs> Please don't. I beg. Don't get a lap dance in front of your girl ever. Please, no. for the love of God, ever. don't do it. It's a bad idea. This has been Suburb Talks, and I will catch you guys on the next segment. Take care, and I will see y'all next week. Brush out, motherfuckers. Wow. And yet right. again, I cheers to another <laughs> good podcast, my friends. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Salud. I can't reach you. So eating ass and smoking grass, baby. <laughs> yeah, they're done. And skating fast. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>